Okay, Tom, tell me what you got. We have here the Flaming Bayonet. This is a, a, a post World War One U.S. military creation. The idea was shoot flame out of this, disorient your enemy. Um, and the idea was disorient your enemy so you can uh, defeat him. Okay, it's cocked, it's loaded. I'm gonna fire it. <laughs> Bang! It does work. You can see it shoots flame. It shoots a little smoke out of there, makes it make a bit of noise. It would be disorienting, particularly at night. There is no paper anywhere, to my knowledge, on intended tactical use of this. As in how many per squad, nothing like that, to my knowledge. It was fired round. And you can see it's quite bold, it's quite dirty. We're going to load up another one. Drop it in. Yeah, I would imagine they probably had a couple of these before they, when they moved on the front lines. Okay, loaded, cocked, and fired. Just to show you, like, like any bayonet. Can be dismounted. They worked on several different versions of this. They had a they had powder cartridge versions and they had liquid cartridge versions. Um, this of course is a an accurate, historically accurate recreation of an original. There's very little paperwork or anything on them. So even though they were designed and called a flaming bayonet, they weren't in really intense to start fires or whatnot. You wouldn't start a fire. You might start a fire in, in, in tall grass, really dry, but flame fire was not the intention. Disorientation of your enemy was the intention. Right. They yeah. did have flamethrowers back then, didn't they? Flamethrowers were, were in, uh, I guess, with all, with all, all major forces had flamethrowers, to my knowledge, yes. Um, this doesn't really shoot flame, though. That's not the point of it. Anyway, it's interesting. Historically, mechanically, fun to play with this kind of thing. It, uh, like I say, it mounts, it mounts, basically like any other bayonet. And I think that's about it. Very nice.